Hi. So I'm coming at you at my lunch break because this came while I was working. <laughs> but I thought it'd be fun. Um, now mind you, this is not an ad in any way, shape, or form. My views do not garner ads. But I thought it'd be fun to give like an honest review about um, every plate. I This is the first box I've ever gotten. I have never tried this before. So I don't know the ease of cooking. I don't know how the food tastes. But I thought it would be kind of fun to do an honest review. I happened to get this free box of every plate thanks to my friend Remy. Let's go ahead and open this box up. So let's see, in here we have information about every plate. I can give friends free boxes. I have three boxes to give. So look out friends, here it comes. I mean, they'll already know about it. So the meals I decided to choose was this chicken and bacon and Gouda sandwiches. So this is what it looks like here. And so this is just the, recipe information so outside of what they gave me um i'll need um, salt black pepper cooking oil sugar and ketchup ketchup is optional um, not for my mother here's how to actually cook it so good um we also got this baja shrimp tacos so that is the other meal there are three of them so again outside of this one we need kosher uh, kosher salt, black pepper, flour, cooking oil, olive oil, sugar, and again, it doesn't say it, but ketchup because my mom will need it. Then the last thing is this crispy buffalo ranch chicken. So outside of that, we need kosher salt, black pepper, butter, cooking oil, and chili flakes, which is optional. I think we might have chili flakes. I don't know off the top of my head. And again, clearly, ketchup, obviously. So um that's interesting so let's take a look here so it's in this cooler oh wow okay i was expecting it to be like packed like in the in the three different meals not literally everything just kind of in there because like here's the ciabatta bread two of the ciabatta breads there should be um four because i have it set specifically at four people being fed, even though it's the three of us. So essentially these three meals become four meals. So whichever one my dad likes best, he can have that one other night for dinner. My mom can have one for one, the one she likes best, and then I can have the one I like best. Um, but yeah, so this is very haphazard, I feel. I feel like the packaging feels kind of haphazard because like literally there's just a freaking tomato just hanging out. So. Like, I'm not kidding. This is just very haphazard. Like, this is the um, buttermilk ranch dressing. This is the panko, if it'll ever focus. So I just, oh, here's the other ciabatta, found it. But see like how this is like really just haphazard. I don't really like that so much because the other ones that I've seen like ads for, they come in bags that are in those process, like those those meals, essentially, right? The ingredients comes in a bag with those meals. And so this just, this feels very haphazard and I feel like this is gonna take forever. I thought it was just gonna be like three bags that I was gonna be able just to throw into my fridge and call it a day, grab the bag that I need and go from there. I don't think that's going to be an option for me. Um, and I'm not prepared, I'm literally on my lunch break, so I'm not prepared. To, I need to also eat my lunch, so uh, and make my lunch and eat my lunch. Um, so I'm not really prepared to deal with all of this right now. So I kind of wish it was cold outside right now. The only time in my life I ever wished it was cold outside is right now, because I'd be like, you know what? I could just throw this outside for a few minutes, for a little bit, and deal with this after work. But that is not an option. Um, because what I want to do is actually separate it out then into the different meals. But yeah, I feel like this is really haphazard. So already this one is kind of batting a zero with me already. So I don't, I don't know what to think y'all. Like we're just, we're just opening the box and I'm already like, mm, I don't know. There's cups of pineapple. I will not be partaking in the cups of pineapple because I don't like pineapple. Found the carrots. Um, like I said, this is just very, very haphazard I feel. Um, so this should still be like a 
um, cli it's Climacil insert. So this is proven to keep your shipment cold. So I think what I might do is just kind of like try to put it back together like this. And then because it's a little bit colder down here, I'll put it on the tile floor in my kitchen and then deal with it after work because I really cannot deal with this right now. So, huh. Already batting a zero, friends, but let's go ahead and um, jump into the ease of cooking. So I will see you uh, when I'm ready to cook. All right, so as of filming this portion of the video, the video where I'm going to explain the meals that we had, and give you my honest review of not only the meals, but uh, of every plate in general. Um, <laughs> we have now, we're on, going to be on our fourth box as of Monday when it arrives. So just to give you an idea of how many of these meals we've had. Um, we have stuck with it just because we do want to try more meals before we make any final decisions about whether or not it is saving us money, um, whether or not uh, the meals are worth sticking with, and just the overall, like, does it really reduce our food waste? Because that's something that we as a family are very focused on, uh, reducing our waste and lowering our carbon footprint um, so that we can obviously have uh, a cleaner world to live in. Um, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the way that the boxes are packaged. Um, I have seen other boxes, I've not tried other boxes, but I've seen other boxes being set in um, like actual meals. So like the, you open the box and the meals, the ingredients are in these bags that you can just pull out and have them ready. This, um, even though it is separated into like um, produce or things that don't necessarily need to be refrigerated on the top and then there is a more compact refrigerated bottom. To me it is still very haphazard and I end up separating them out um, and spending like an hour to do so later. Um, so the packaging not fantastic. I, I do think that there would there would be a lot of value to them separating out um, at least a little bit better in some way shape or form separating out the um, meals because there have also been minor, not major things missing, but minor things missing from other boxes. Like I was short garlic um, at one point. So um, luckily we just have garlic in the house at all times. It's just kind of a staple food we have. So it wasn't a big deal. Um, I also think I underused garlic in one of the meals, but Anyway, I think that that would reduce that issue. Um, not that it's a major issue, because again, it was nothing major that they missed. Just something minor, something more staple in normal um, refrigerators and kitchens, things like that. So I'm not um, too worried about that necessarily, but I do think that separating them out into the actual meals would be really beneficial for them. Um, I do understand that like the way they have it packaged is ideal to make sure that the meat and refrigerated items remain safe, things like that. So I completely understand why they do it the way they do it, but it does feel very haphazard. Um, so let's talk about the actual meals and how I felt about them. So the first meal we had was the crispy buffalo chicken ranch. Um, so instead of doing the mashed potatoes like it indicates in the recipe, I did decide, because I hate doing mashed potatoes, I hate making mashed potatoes, I decided to just chop them up and put them in the air fryer. Um, with some seasoning on them. But essentially, we had potatoes, carrots, garlic, sour cream, panko breadcrumbs, Frank's uh, seasoning blend, chicken breasts, obviously, and buttermilk ranch dressing, along with some honey. I actually did end up missing the honey. The honey was supposed to go on the carrots, but I did miss that, so at some point I will make the actual proper carrots. But essentially, we we're supposed to wash the produce, I cut up the carrots. Um, I was supposed to, su supposed to start I was supposed to start the mashed potatoes at that point, but again, I don't like making mashed potatoes. I, I find it to be very tedious. Um, it's also one of the reasons I don't make lefsa, but that's a whole different conversation. Uh, so I decided again, just to cut them up. For making the um, buffalo chicken, I had to mix the panko with all of the, um, ingredients to make that a little bit spicier and then 
I plopped that onto the chicken breast. This was not like a coating of it. It was definitely um, just you pat it on and you bake it that way. Then I baked the carrots along with the chicken. And like I said, I air fried the potatoes. And I actually did also forget to give the ranch <laughs> to my family, which is actually probably pretty okay because my dad doesn't really like um, buttermilk. So it probably worked out for the best, but we do have that for the future as well. All in all, I really liked that meal. I think it's probably, oddly enough, one of my least favorites just because it did, it was my first time trying it, but also it did feel a little bit, like a lot of them feel very restauranty. Uh, and again, like I'm basing this off of the other meals that I've had too that I will not be talking about in this video, like a pasta one, which is actually my least favorite and only just because of the fact that I don't like pasta. I don't like spaghetti, I don't like linguine, I don't like any of that. So um, even though I had the pasta because I wanted to try the whole meal um, with the way that the pasta was cooked, I it was good pasta, like I will give it that but I'm just not a pasta person. So like, I'm not gonna talk about that one because that was, I think, in our second box. This is probably one of my least favorites on the tasting scale because a lot of them do taste like they come from freaking restaurants. My favorite is actually in our most recent box, the one we just did this last week. And I still taste it. Like it's been days. We had it on Thursday. It is currently Saturday <laughs> on filming this. Um, I, can, I can still taste it. Like, it's so good. Um, <laughs> but this one was probably one of my least favorites. This one didn't stick with me. I would have it again, but I think I would do it more of a coating. So doing the flour, egg, and then into the panko, um, or do flour, egg, flour, egg, then panko, um, to really, really uh, coat the chicken with the panko. Um, by no means was it not good. Like if you do do this and you see that as an option, it's definitely a good one. Um, I wish I would know, I wish I would have known how the potatoes turned out. Um, because again, I just don't do mashed. I don't like, I mean, I love mashed potatoes. Like, don't get me wrong. I love eating them, but I do not like making them. So if it's up to me to make them, I'm more or less going to make baked potatoes, um, <laughs> or any other form of potato, as long as I don't have to mash them. Um, but yeah, so this, this meal was actually pretty good. I did actually really enjoy it. So our next meal was the bacon, was the chicken bacon sandwiches. So for the bacon chicken sandwiches, we had potatoes again. They made the potatoes the exact same way that I made them the, the night before, the not the night before, but the time before. Um, tomatoes, bacon, chicken breast, smoked paprika, mayonnaise, Dijon mustard, ciabatta, and sliced gouda. I was a little concerned about the Dijon mustard because my mom is not a big fan of Dijon mustard because she doesn't like horseradish too much but um, she ended up really liking it. She really actually liked the um, Dijonais that I made for this. So this one we were supposed to cut up for like Jojo's or wedges, however, whatever you call um, large cut fries. Uh, but I'll talk about this in a little bit in the video because I did film like a little um, clip with my phone at one point, but the potatoes just are not a good size for um, making fries. So I just cut them up the way I did the night before, the time before, and I seasoned them the exact same way. Then you're supposed to cu uh, cook up, the then you're supposed to cook up the bacon, and then in the same uh, pan, I was supposed to cook um, the uh, chicken as well as <laughs> like, and then I also had to grill the tomatoes in that same pan, which honestly, oh, so good. Um, I didn't realize that grilling tomatoes <laughs> would make it so good, but it did. The Dijonais, um was, was also really good. I really like Dijon mustard, um, but I had my mom try the Dijonais before I was putting it on her sandwich just to make sure she liked it and she thought it was fantastic. When I told her the Dijon mustard was in it, she was honestly surprised. Um, these were served on ciabatta bread, which is one of our favorites in this house, though the buns that come with the burgers, the potato buns, so darn good they actually kind of beat out the ciabatta in my opinion. So again, this meal was actually really, really good. I think this is probably my favorite from this particular box. Um, I really did like this one and I would absolutely make this one again. One of the big reasons why we are doing this is to collect as many recipes as we can and, and do them later. Um, and 
Honestly, this is one that I would do time and time again. I do really like this recipe. I love ciabatta bread. I really like the Dijonais sauce that went with it. And again, the grilling of the tomatoes was an unmeasured success. Like honestly, so good. It was absolutely so good. So the final meal that we had within this box was the Baja shrimp tacos. So the Baja shrimp tacos, um, I love fish tacos. My mom's not a fish person, so I saw the shrimp as the um, protein slash meat in this particular box uh, option, and I jumped at it because she does like shrimp. She doesn't like fish, but she does like shrimp. Though she was a little nervous about the, sh about the shrimp because when she smelled it initially before I cooked it, it to her smelled like fish. Might be because it was not cooked shrimp and usually what we buy is cooked shrimp. They just have to like warm it up. Um, but this one we had tomatoes, red onion, jalapeno, pineapple, which I didn't use because I don't like pineapple and I was not going to put pineapple in my portion of the salsa, which is a pineapple salsa. So mine was, <laughs> mine obviously didn't taste quite the same as my parents did, but I don't like pineapple. It is not something that I was willing to try. I was willing to try the pasta, like I said, but I was not willing to try pineapple because I know I don't like pineapple. Um, lime, garlic, shrimp, of course, mayonnaise, sriracha, flour tortillas and sour cream. Um, so for this one, I had to zest and cut up a lime to um, put the zest in the meal as well as the juice in the meal. They had me rinse the shrimp and then cook that up, which honestly was very, very quick. Um, and then I had to make the salsa, which was putting basically all of the stuff in it. The pineapple juice, which I did put pineapple juice in because I don't mind pineapple juice. I just don't like the, the texture of pineapple. Um, the pineapple, tomato, diced onion, juice of half of the lime, and one tablespoon of olive oil, or two tablespoons of olive oil, salt, pepper, and the chopped jalapenos to taste. And I used all of the jalapenos because we like jalapenos in this house. Obviously for mine, I just cut out the actual physical pineapples. And so I made half um, of mine and then half for mom and dad. Well, like a third of for me and a third, two thirds for mom and dad. Once the um, shrimp was done, then I assembled the tacos, shrimp with the pineapple salsa, and then some sour cream on top to taste. It's a really big toss up as to which one was my favorite, this one or the ciabatta chicken bacon thing. So good, both of them were so fantastic. Um, I think if I had done like a regular salsa, I probably would have liked this a little bit better. Cause again, mine was a little taste less because I think the, the biggest piece of the taste was the sweetness of the pineapple, which of course I didn't partake in. Um, so it was a little different for me. My parents really liked it. And honestly, it was very, very good. So here are kind of my complaints or moments of opportunity for every plate. Um, one of the things that really bothers me as I'm kind of going through the app to try and pick meals for future boxes is trying to make sure that my dad can actually eat them. <laughs> so my dad is deathly allergic to literally pretty much anything that grows on trees unless it's citrus. And then my mom and I, we don't, our bodies don't like soy very much. It's not an allergy, but it's definitely a sensitivity. I am also lactose intolerant which isn't a big deal because with lactose intolerance, I can absolutely take lactate and be fine. Um, so I don't take my lactose intolerance too much into account, but I do try to take my mom's and my soy sensitivity into account, which I didn't for one box, but we were fine with the sauce that it came with that had soy in it. But the biggest issue is finding meals that don't have something that grows on trees. <laughs> So that can be tree nuts, apples, cherries, anything like that. And there have been some meals I've wanted to try, but I can't because it has cherry in it or it has apple in it or something to that extent. And uh, my dad can't eat those things. My dad will die. He has anaphylaxis, um, an anaphylactic issue with those kinds of foods. And so therefore we cannot have them. So I wish there was a way that I could toggle like food sensitivities and toggle um, food allergens so that it, it isn't so hard for me because sometimes there's like something in it um, that is like a sauce or a um, group of foods that I have to then like look up 
and see what it is. Like, for example, I mean, even though I know this is soy, um, one of our meals came with edamame, which I just completely ignored. My mom threw it out for the birds to eat. Um, because, I mean, my dad can have soy just fine, but it's literally soybeans. <laughs> edamame is literally soybeans. So we just, we, we chose not to have them because I mean, it is one thing for soy to be an ingredient, quite another thing for it to be literal soybeans that you're eating. Um, so I wish there was a way that we could toggle that information. I also wish there was a way to toggle, um, you know, specific types of diets. Now I don't protect, I don't like aspire to any diet in particular, but my dad has been told multiple times that he should be on what's called the Mediterranean diet. It is not a fad diet. That is actually a diet that is extremely sustainable. Um, it does just kind of alter the facets of how you eat and things like that. And I wish there was a way, I know there is like a pescatarian option, which pescatarian is probably the closest that we would get to the Mediterranean diet because the Mediterranean diet is very focused on, um, fish and some poultry, but, um, honestly, I, I don't know. Cause I mean, my mom doesn't like fish, so I couldn't do the pescatarian option. If it was just me, I would have probably tried the pescatarian option because I do enjoy fish, but also I do, um, I would like to try a pescatarian diet even just for a little bit, just to see if it fares my body very well, because red meat doesn't always, you know, do well with my body. Um, so I have often thought about doing pescatarian, but I also wonder if that's like my EDs popping up. I don't know. You never know. You never know when you have EDs in your history. So, um, but those are just some things about the app that I think would be really nice because there have been a couple of boxes that I've, I have actually had trouble finding something that is not a vegetarian meal that also does not have some kind of tree nut. Um, not that I have anything against vegetarian meals. I actually would try some of them, absolutely. And I know my mom would too. Um, I have definitely had no meat Mondays before. I have done days where I've had full on vegetarian. And when I say vegetarian, I mean fully plant-based because the true definition of vegetarian is no animal products eaten whatsoever. Most people think that's called vegan. That is not, vegan is also not, is not eating any animal products, but it also is also not using animal products like leather and shoes, wool, which don't get me started, <laughs> but things like that. Um, so I have done like full vegetarian diets before. No dairy, no eggs, no animal products in, of any kind before. Um, so I have no problem with that. I've never lived long term that way, but I have definitely done um, days like that. So I have no problem with that. It's my dad. My dad can smell no meat from a mile away. And if I try to give him a vegetarian meal, he would just scoff it off and want chicken. And I could simply just make the vegetarian meal and give him chicken instead of give him whatever is the protein in that. But that's not the point of this. The point of this is to try the meals as close to what they recommend and using just the ingredients that they provide so that as much as we can, obviously the edamame thing, we had to all, we had to switch things up a little bit because it was literally the only option I had available was having edamame as part of it. Um, but yeah, and then of course my other biggest complaint um, aside from how they package the boxes is the size of the potatoes. So let me cut to that clip real quick. I have been using, or we have been using, um, this every plate now for a couple of weeks. And the only real issue is like, tonight we're supposed to have Jojo's or wedges or large fries, whatever you call them. How is this supposed to turn into wedges? Like even the big ones are like this, but the picture clearly shows like something much bigger. And I gotta say, that's kind of one of my big issues. So every time we've been, we've, we're supposed to have like Jojo's, I don't know if that's how everybody, what everybody calls them, is I've just been chopping them up and putting them in the air fryer and making just like cut up potatoes. Like that's, <clears throat> what I've been doing. We're gonna do our sixth meal tonight. Um, this one is actually one that we 
changed up the recipe a little bit. It's supposed to be pork. I got the chicken instead. Maybe I showed you correctly. But yeah, that's probably my biggest like complaint. Um, but future Brit will tell you about all the other kind of like places where this could improve and our, my final thoughts on all of this since by the time I'll actually be filming the portion of the video that I'll be talking about the meals uh, because I just got so behind on other things <laughs> we've already done six of them um, and possibly more so stay tuned so I mean all in all I think every plate has been really nice um, it's definitely the most affordable of the meal plans out there or the meal boxes out there um, the, a, a box without premium upgrades or add-ons or changes to the meal themselves which we have done uh, we've done a premium we've done premium boxes one of the one of the items in this box was a premium i think it was the shrimp tacos we've also done we've not done any of the add-ons but we have swapped out meats before as well um, in an upcoming box we did that i think it was our second box we switched out one of the meats um, from uh pork to chicken because we already had a pork meal in it we try to air on white meat more than red meat again because of my dad's health um so so the cheapest box that you can get which is this the basic box is like 69 dollars i think and honestly super worth it for three meals because i get it as a set before um like a family of four for three meals it's actually four meals because we're a family of three so each of us gets another meal out of it which honestly has been really great so really we're replacing four of our meals um, every single week with this particular box um, so honestly it's a really good deal it is the cheapest available my mom did look up um, how they're rated and it came up towards the bottom which when it comes to food quality i don't understand why because the food quality has been absolutely fantastic like i said two days later and i'm still tasting the burger and mind you this burger had onions on it caramelized onions which i don't mind but onions nonetheless i don't like onions at all like caramelized onions i can handle this was so good that i just i need to have it again and I was gonna have it for dinner tonight, but I couldn't find it. So clearly somebody already had it and I'm angry. <laughs> somebody clearly took it for lunch yesterday or something. I don't know, I want it. Um, but yeah, it honestly, the quality of the food has been so good. Aside from the size of the potatoes, the quality is fantastic and I love it. We are gonna stick with this, at least for a little bit that we know of. Um, unless you want us to try other ones, we are open to trying HelloFresh or um, Blue Apron, Green Chef, whatever you want us to try, let us know. And we're more than willing to give them a try. But if we're gonna stick with a meal delivery box, we're probably gonna stick with this one because even if the food quality is good on the other ones the other ones are more expensive and this one has great quality food for a lesser expensive option so quite frankly we're probably gonna stick with this if even if we do try other ones unless the other ones just kind of like blow our minds with the quality of the food but honestly i feel like i'm eating at a restaurant three to four times a week like do you even understand like how incredible that is like i do i feel like we're eating at a restaurant three to four times out of the week and that is just so amazing and i've learned a lot more about cooking doing this and a lot more about seasoning and things like that so i'm learning a lot from this as well on how to cook and how to be a better cook because i love cooking um and i and i'm glad that i've learned new tricks of the trade but honestly so good so if you're curious about any of these boxes let me know in the comments below about ones you think that we should give a shot and i would absolutely be willing to do another one of these videos about how i feel about these particular boxes um let me know and i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i do want to start doing things like this like 
um, reviews on things that are supposed to lower your carbon footprint. I know this doesn't because of the shipping costs and shipping stuff, but it does reduce food waste, which is good, obviously. Um, and it does seem to be pretty economical. So at least this box does. Other boxes, not so sure, because a lot of them are very, very expensive because I've looked into them before. I just happen to get a free option with this one and I ended up paying actually 40 bucks because of the preview upgrade, but it's not too bad. <laughs> I enjoyed it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Like I said, comment down below um, any other of the other boxes you would like me to try. And I would be more than happy to try more and do another video quite like this. If you would like to see uh, the most recent video that I did on this channel, like long form video I did on this channel, you guys can click right here. If you want to see what the algorithm thinks is best for you on my channel, click here. Otherwise, click here, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single one of my videos. And I will see you all next time. Bye!